Hi, welcome to beautiful Gulf County, Florida. I'm Kelly Godwin, Executive Director of the Gulf County Tourist Development Council, and I'm so glad that you're here. At the Tourist Development Council, our mission is to invite you to come visit this magical place where an adventure is around every corner and wonder is always present. We know you come to Gulf County to relax and disconnect, and we know you love our beaches and waters just as we do. In an effort to protect our unspoiled environment, our beaches, and the natural habitat for all of our wildlife, our local county leaders adopted a Leave No Trace ordinance. From our waters to our beaches, we all have to live in a balanced manner. Today I'm going to give you a few highlights of our ordinance and some tips that may help you out. Did you know, along the Gulf of Mexico in northwest Florida, Gulf County is the nesting place of roughly 40% of all nesting sea turtles? Nesting season begins May 1st and runs through October 31st, and we do everything we can to protect all turtles and hatchlings. Keeping this in mind, it is important that all unattended personal items be removed from the beach no later than one hour after sunset. No matter what you bring to the beach, tents, chairs, coolers, toys, or kayaks, your items need to be removed or they may be considered abandoned. Once deemed abandoned, your property may be removed from the beach, and once removed, items will not be returned. We know that everyone has their favorite beach spot, so your items can be placed back on the beach after the sun has risen. We understand that this may be inconvenient. However, it is imperative for the turtles. Turtles often get stuck under tents and chairs, which can prohibit nesting and even endanger their lives. If you're an early riser, you will see the turtle patrol walking on the beach, monitoring the nests and the hatchlings. Want to learn more? Go to visitgulf.com to our Explore Like a Local tab. You'll find a lot of useful information from Jessica, who leads the St. Joseph Peninsula Turtle Patrol Program. You can even call her and schedule yourself to walk with them. We also have a fun turtle trail where you can take a shelfie with different metal turtles that have been painted by local artists. Come to the Welcome Center and show us your shelfies to get a Gulf County stainless steel straw and help ditch the plastic straw to keep our turtles safe. Want more info on turtle walks or the turtle trail? Email us at concierge at visitgulf.com. There's no doubt that once you learn about the turtles, removing your items from the beach to keep them safe won't be an inconvenience anymore. If you wake up one morning and go set up your tent, you may find a new nest close to your favorite spot. Here's what a nest looks like. If you do see one, please don't touch it. It is unlawful to touch or tamper with a nest and could levy a hefty fine. Driving is allowed on Indian Pass and Cape Sandblast, but only if you've purchased a beach driving permit. Permits for visitors are $300 annually. Permits can be purchased at the Gulf County Tax Collector's Office Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You can obtain a map of the authorized beach driving access points when you purchase your permit, or simply log on to visitgulf.com and click on the map. The Gulf County Sheriff's Office does patrol the beach, so to ensure you don't receive a $500 fine, simply follow the rules and get a permit. I will say that even though you can purchase a permit to drive on the beach, the speed limit is 15 miles per hour and is strictly enforced along with reckless driving. Remember beachgoers are often lying on the sand, playing around, and digging holes. Keep your speed down and be very aware. No one should be in a hurry in Gulf County. If you do dig any holes, and we know you do, be sure to fill them in before you leave the beach. It helps to keep us all and the turtles safe. Gulf County is one of the few beach destinations that allows bonfires and camping on our beaches, but there are a few rules. If you want to camp overnight, you must not be within 400 feet of a waterfront residence. For bonfires, you cannot be within 100 feet of a residence or structure, and certainly not in the dunes. All remnants of the bonfire must be extinguished and removed from the beach before you leave. Have a furry friend who loves the beach? Great, bring them along and let them enjoy our beaches with you. Please note, they must be on a tethered leash at all times, including in the water. Voice command and electronic collars are not considered leashed. We also ask that you clean up after your pets just like you clean up after yourselves. We have even provided complimentary pet stations such as this one with free doggy waste bags. Please use them. And finally, per the Leave No Trace ordinance, trash must be removed from the beach each day and glass is prohibited. Much of the Leave No Trace ordinance is designed to protect our natural environment and ensure public safety. If you have an emergency on the beach, call 911. If you're unsure as to your exact location, find the nearest dune sign, locate the number on the post, and tell the 911 operator. All signs have been geotagged, so dispatch can send help to your location more efficiently. Gulf County, Florida is a magical place, and we want you to enjoy it again and again. If you have any questions, stop by the Welcome Center or log on to visitgulf.com. Or if you see a TDC truck, stop us. The TDC team is on the beach every day, and we are very happy to help. On behalf of all of us at the TDC, welcome to Gulf County. We hope you enjoy your visit.